Good morning. It is 8.29 a.m. on Saturday, January 12th, 2019. Ah, remembering things. I'm Christiana Ellis and I just got up sort of-ish. Uh, this is five more minutes. I'm feeling... Yesterday was a hard day. I wasn't feeling very well, kind of headachy and um, fatigued. But uh, today it seems to have turned into a more standard cold, which is, you know, not fun, but at least it's kind of like a known quantity. So I'm probably not going to do sightseeing sorts of things that uh, I was might have originally been planning in favor of a day of rest. Uh, we were not going to go to Pusan after all uh, because it was likely to be raining uh, there. So, you know, walking around a coast town to see the sights is not as much fun on a rainy day. Uh, so, you know, that was kind of in the offing already anyway. And so now I'm just kind of going to try to rest up today. I was actually very pleased all day yesterday knowing that Critical Role was back from the holidays. Just it's like, oh yeah, that's back. That's nice. And so I was able to look forward to that. And even though uh, for the time zone I'm in right now, the live broadcast would have been mid-morning while I was at work, so I couldn't watch it at work. But I had it to look forward to after work. And that was nice. So that was pretty much my evening yesterday. Was tucking myself into bed a little early and watching Critical Role. And I actually, I didn't quite make it all the way through last night. So I got up and I watched the last little bit this morning. And that's why I said I just got up-ish. So technically I did watch it from bed. So I think it's close enough. So today I am, in addition to resting up, I think the only other thing, the only other like assignment I've given myself is to uh, finish preparing what I am going to prepare for tomorrow's game of this space for rent. You know, the space Casey RPG. We're going to have our first adventure session tomorrow. Uh, that'll be starting. I think I said 7 p.m. Eastern time for uh, for those of you in the States. It's going to be Sunday morning for me, so it's always a little bit complicated talking about the times in my head. But I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, I hope that if you have any interest in that, maybe you'll tune in live and you can uh, join Join us and uh, the folks that are in the, the Twitch chat. That's all a lot of fun. And especially with this type of game, it's something where I think that there's a lot of potential for audience engagement. Um, but I'm going to have to kind of feel that out as I go. This is a system that I've only run once before, so I'm, I'm not quite as easy breezy with it as I am with D&D &D by now, but it's going to be uh, fun to learn it. And I think one of the things that this system is good at is being a little bit loosey goosey anyway. And since this is not a big epic, take it seriously adventure, I still want to prepare things, but at the same time, I imagine there's going to be a lot of nonsense involved, which is I don't know. It's my speed. I like it. Hmm. And so that's kind of what I've got on the agenda. Although starting, you know, there's always a, a wealth of RPG stuff to go through. So I've still only barely touched the Strongholds and Followers book that is now out uh, in PDF form. And plus, I also backed the Invisible Sun, like, reprint Kickstarter. And I just, um, they just sent me a bunch of PDF stuff today. So, so many RPG things 
that I have in PDF and, uh, you know, to get through all of them. I don't know, it's fun to read about them even if you don't have time to play them, but hopefully at some point I'll have time to play them. I'm, you know, but to get too excited about a new system literally the day before I'm about to start a new campaign with a new system, you know, to get excited about a different new system is maybe not super helpful, but you know, getting excited about gaming in general is lots of fun. And I think it's also very interesting to incorporate little things from one game system into another. For example, uh, oh, I'm already at five minutes, but uh, just to uh, illustrate one that I think is a good example is apparently Inv Invisible Sun, which I've seen played a little bit from the Woman with Hollow Eyes stream that the one-shot guys did. And they have this thing called a Sooth deck, which is you, you pull a new card from this deck, and it's kind of like a tarot deck. You pull a new card from a deck kind of anytime something significant happens, and it just kind of changes the magical landscape a little bit. It makes some spells more powerful. It makes some spells less powerful, and it kind of shapes the fate of the story a little bit, and I think that's kind of super cool. And the game that we're playing actually has a perfect mechanic that could make that really work. And I'm still thinking about how to maybe implement something like that. We'll see. Anyway, tomorrow I'll be doing continuing the rewatch of uh, Gravity Falls and then, of course, the game stream. So I'll talk to you tomorrow for five more minutes.